Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This week's video is my bullet journal plan with me for the month of June 2021. So this month I had a bit more time than I had over the last few months and also I just really wanted a bullet journal spread that would make me happy as opposed to one that was following a set theme. If you read the title of this video then you will know that the so-called theme is nature for this month. That is the case for most of this journal, but there are one or two aspects that do not fall within that. This month I just decided to create a layout that I completely loved, that I absolutely adored, and I have fallen so much in love with this month's layout, you guys. So although it does cover quite a lot of nature aspects, such as there's butterflies, there's flowers, there's plants, there are one or two things that do not fall into that category, for example, the wrapping paper that you see currently, it does have some flowers on it, but it is also a map. This represents traveling, which is something I love and unfortunately haven't been able to do a lot recently. So that's why I decided to add it into this month's spread. In addition to that, there are quotes on almost every page of this month's layout, but unlike previous months, they do not relate back to the theme. The quotes I have chosen are actually by famous authors, mostly classical authors, which is a genre that I adore, and they were just quotes that I find interesting or that I can relate to. So as you can see, the cover page is super simple but really colourful. I decided to go back in and actually shade in these leaves with two different shades of green. Anything that fell outside the highlighted square became light green and the actual highlighters themselves became a dark green. This just gave it a really cool effect that I loved. After that we have my to-do section. I usually include an event section but thankfully I do not have many events this month so I do not need a separate area to keep track of those. As a result there is just a to-do section on this page as well as the wrapping paper, like I said, and a quote down the bottom of the page that you guys will see in a few minutes. I also decided to add some graph paper. This is just a plain A4 sheet of paper that I took from a graph notebook. It has small individual boxes as well as the larger ones you can see in the video, and I just thought it would be a nice change in comparison to my lined bullet journal. In addition to this, as you will see in a few minutes, I've also added one of my favourite washi tapes to this month's spread. Washi tape is something that I have quite a lot of, but unfortunately have not used much over the last few months, so for this month I decided to rectify that. The quote that I have just written and am now sticking in is by Oscar Wilde. And it says, you can never get a cup of tea large enough or a book long enough to suit me, which is something that I relate strongly to. And my final jot of colour in this monthly spread is a metallic silver CD pen. This is one of my favourite pens of all times. It is super shiny and looks almost like glitter. So I'm going back in to some of the writing and some of the drawings to just add that as a highlighter. Now it is on to my habit tracker as well as a mood tracker. Over the last few months I have kept the habit tracker to individual weeks. And although that does work perfectly, I decided to create a separate page completely for this month. In addition to that, the mood tracker is not something I've done recently, but I saw this really cute idea on Pinterest and I wanted to try it out for myself. So first of all, I'm just quickly drawing in the boxes for each of the days in June. So it starts on a Tuesday and ends on a Wednesday, which is why they are slightly uneven. After that, I will go in and draw very, very simple butterflies all around this, just to add some colour and some detail.
and now it is on to my mood tracker. My biggest issue with using mood trackers in the past is the fact to make it look any bit aesthetic. You would usually have to use colours in order to signify what mood you're feeling each day. This is not something that I like doing as I prefer to carry around just one pen with my bullet journal instead of multiple different coloured highlighters. But then I saw this really cool idea on Pinterest where you actually put down the colour first and then to add the mood or to signify your mood, you then do the drawing on top of the colours. So I've created six rows of five boxes here for each of the 30 days in June. And as you can see at the bottom of the page, there are three very simple plant drawings representing the mood. I will be coming back to finish the mood tracker in a few moments, but first I started the first of my weekly spreads just to give the highlighter time to dry. So this month each of my four weekly spreads are vastly different from one another. I have used different styles of layout, different drawing and pretty much different everything. So going back to the mood tracker, I just quickly added in a black circle for each of the days and then wrote in the date itself using the same silver metallic pen that I used before. This pen I will also use in each of the weekly spreads as well as the highlighters and the different styles of paper and washi tape that I've been using all along. And finally, since both highlighters and markers are now dry on the mood tracker page, I went back in and wrote in the dates. I also added some small, finer details to the butterflies and to the plants, just to make the metal stand out.
and that is it for my June bullet journal for 2021. Here is a very quick overview of how each page finally looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, please smash that subscribe button. And if you have any ideas for future videos, then leave them in the comments below because I will do my best to fulfill them. I post new videos every two weeks and I will talk to you guys then.